Heart to Heart. This is Dawn Bateman. I'm in Wiley, Texas, and I'm the Facebook moderator for our page. And joining today is Sarah Matt Mabley. I say Maberly. Some people say Maberly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, well we're going to we're going to go with your uh, pronunciation. That would be great. But she's the set decorator for um, our Wind Calls the Heart world. And uh, she's been here a little, how many time, How many seasons? I've been on since season five. I started as like a day call dresser and then came on in season six as a lead dresser. And then halfway through that season, I took over as set, de set decorator. So six, seven, eight, and nine, I've been set decorator. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, welcome. And so I, I have to say congratulations. You have a new baby. Yeah. Middle How school. old is, is he, he now? He just turned four months, so 18 weeks. Yeah, he's 18. Oh, my weeks. gosh. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Well, someone was uh, saying in the comments on the Facebook page, I think it was John Tinker, that um, you were, you know, a lot of pregnant <laughs> going through the, and you guys had a heat wave last year. So, oh, yeah. 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 You just, you were just a rock star. So that oh. was meant for you. Yeah. I went on maternity leave and then a week and a half later is when Sammy <gasps> decided to make an appearance. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my word. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And I, I had a peak people. So, so, so cute. So, well, to kick up, kick us off, um, I would like to have some, um, come foundation about what you do, especially when the wind calls the heart world, we're talking about the, um, the production designer world, um, and how do you fit into that, that world? Yeah, so at the helm of everything is our production designer, and we were so lucky to have Gail Taylor join us this season. Um, and then there is a head of department for all of the departments that she, she kind of runs um, within the art department. So I'm the head of the set decoration department, and I guess my job is to really fill the sets. I work with Gail and our, our director and, and John and sometimes the actors as well to uh, take their ideas and take their concepts and then I make it come to life and I go out and I do all the buying and the sourcing and then myself and the, the, the dressers that I have we we make it what you see on TV yeah wow wow okay interesting about what you purchase. So we'll, I have some questions about that as we go along. So um, thank you for that. Uh, so we, uh, we asked some hardies in our Facebook group um, to submit questions. So we have some from, I'm going to see my, my notes here. Monica Volkner from Oakville, Ontario asked if items such as fabric, furniture, books, and toys are part of the conversation with writers? Um, yeah, I, I, definitely. Um, I think we're really lucky with this show um, to have such a wonderful close relationship with John Tinker, um, who you know is is just the man. And yeah. uh, so we do. We in all of our meetings, um, we do. We have open discussions about about things like that. Sometimes it's not as important. Any you know, there's just oh. You know, let's see what you find. But sometimes things have some meaning, you know, mm -hmm. behind it, and and it has to be a specific fabric color or or something something that's important. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You, yeah. I'm just curious about the collab the the um, collaborative process. So you know, you talk about John, um, maybe the directors, but also about the costumes because you talk about color. Do you have that conversation with Barbara? Um, yeah, and that's usually uh, our designer will have that conversation um, in other meetings. Um, but it is it, it is really important um, because I, I um, you know Pascal uh, for for example, uh, she has a color, you know her sure her, she definitely has has her costume color. And so it's important when designing any set that may involve her or you know or at least a scene uh, to to complement. Uh, what she's wearing and and so that they the set and our costumes work really well together so there is definitely a conversation that's that's had beforehand sure 
Do you remember anything for season nine that was really specific about the collaborative process? Oh, I mean, whew. again, it's so great with this team that when we, we have our concept meetings and then we have our, our we have production meetings, and then we have set deck meetings and we have art department meetings. And so we do get the opportunity to discuss. We It's called a page turner. We just we turn the pages and we go through it and we talk about everything that's pertinent and important. And in this case, the um, the the soda fountain, like the soda shop and pharmacy, that was a really big change. Uh, yes. And uh, and it we wanted it to be able to um, show the growth of the town. Yes. Um, while while also maintaining that the heart and the soul of, of Hope Valley, as well as what we think um, the Yost's uh, tastes are. And so we did, you know, the, the discussion of colors and, and we have so many buildings that we got to make sure that we're not copying a lot of like colors. Right. <laughs> you want to have yeah. some variety going on. So it's like, okay, well, what, what haven't we seen, but what's still period of the time? And, right. and, and then what would they have wanted to decorate it with? Like, what's their, sure. their personal flair? And so that is a conversation that, that, you know, you talk to and including um, like our producers having us, everyone likes that to, to be able to collaborate um, when it's something like that that's important and it's you know it's going to be there hopefully for a while so yeah yeah we want it to last and we want it to to have that that meaning yeah absolutely so just curious about in, in the beginning of you know you get a new season um, for this season how many days or or weeks did you have to um, get hope back ready to go you have the paint and the dressing of the the sets how long is that process not long enough but uh <laughs> <laughs> but we've got it sure. down to like oh just a fine-tuned machine um we have a massive lock up but it's still not big enough for what um ev everything that's in there but we have a massive wow. space that holds everything because most of it is uh owned by us um uh everything you see in whole valley is it gets put into a lockup um and stored wow. Um, a few things are rented every year, but for the most part, we own everything. And so I start, I get a month of prep time. Uh, construction is usually there, depending on how much work needs to be done in the town, is there a little bit earlier, as well as paint to start refurbishing things or rebuilding things. And, you know, it's an outdoor set. So sure, some wear and tear for sure. And it is shared by other movie sets sometimes. So we have to go right. in and we have to clean it up. Um, but so I get one week of office prep and that's when I organize the crew and, and all of the paperwork and everything that it takes to run set deck. And then we get our two big, uh, big trucks and two full crews. And we've got a crew at the lockup and a crew on set. And we just load a truck, take it to set. And we kind of, as a truck is being unloaded, another truck is being loaded and they go back and forth. And we get three weeks to unload every single set out of the lockup. Wow. Um, and then to dress it. And then the like the final touches, paint will come in for final touches. Um, and then greens comes in and and puts the the real florals and the real trees outside. Um, and then special effects comes in and rigs all of the the fireplaces and the, and the stove. Oh my word. Yeah. So it's wow. But it all happens in a month. It's uh, at, at least on my yeah. end, you know, um, I know that production and some people are there earlier, but right. Um, so you are more in, um, involved with the interior versus exterior, right? Um, no, I mean, I would say uh, set deck is under both. Um, okay. All right. The only thing that we don't do is the fresh flowers uh, and the, the real trees. So, oh, okay. but all of the things you see outside are still considered set deck. Um, right. the flower baskets, for example, um, that's greens, you know, cause those are mostly real. Um, uh, but we do help out. Um, and, and I think we, we've all been a team for so long that, that everyone kind of has a hand in everything and, and wow. Well, yeah, you, but, you would have so yeah, to. Actually, I just, I just posted a video of me, um, during load in very pregnant and I was I like, saw I, that. I needed, I needed to help. And I'm pushing one of those, those schools. So that's that deck. <laughs> oh, this is so glamorous, right? So, so glamorous. glamorous, so dusty, so hot, so much. Oh, I'm sure. Oh man. Oh, that's just, 
you know, it's interesting because we were just talking about uh, new sets and in the previews, um, there was a preview saying that Lucas was reading to little Jack in his bedroom. So Pamela Smith from Drexel, North Carolina asked where that was filmed. Because oh. the whole conversation was, well, I know that the um, houses have two stories and I, you know, we know the, the, the stairs go to nowhere. Um, <laughs> You can, can you kind of get some uh, behind the scenes? Where do we yeah. That? So we built that set uh, in the same place we actually built Baby Jack's nursery, which is in oh, really? the Gallon Petroleum's, uh, the Gallon Petroleum set. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So that, that set is meant to look like the upstairs of the row houses. And we've actually also used it for the upstairs of Abigail's as well. Um, so yeah, that's uh, in interesting. Past Abigail's, Jesse and Claire's bedroom. Yeah, so we've used that set. It's called our swing set. Um, okay. Yeah, so the, all, some of the, sometimes when we swap out sets to build something else, yeah, that's our, our swing set. And we do use gallon petroleum a lot. And um, we've also used the church um, as a place like Rosemary and Lee's bedroom. I think it's oh, really? Eight. Um, because that is actually originally a row house. We used to have three row houses. Uh, which would have been great for me, but then it got, right. <laughs> got turned into uh, the church. Yeah. So, yeah. but its layout is exactly that of a row house. So we've used okay. that as well. Wow. But little, uh, little Jack's bedroom is in Gallon Petroleum's. I love it. So speaking of Little Jack, um, this is the first time that we've seen the toddler bedroom. Um, what were your um, decisions about what to, in this set, what did you find? Is And I don't know, you know, you know that you're having a, a baby boy. Was that part of your thought process? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, it was great because, yes, I was, you know, knew I was going to have a baby boy. And our designer, Gail, absolutely was like, okay, let's, what are we going to do? Oh, so there were tons of photos going back and forth. And it definitely got into the world of like, oh, well, this is what I would do for Sammy. Yeah. Um, and so we, yeah, and then we just decided to land on, on, something that we think uh, Elizabeth would have done. Um, and we wanted it to really uh, be a blend of, of influences. Um, mm. So, you know, you've got the books in there from, you know, because of course Elizabeth loves to <laughs> read sure. and write and, and so does, so does Lucas. And then, and then you've also got some art in there because, because of his dad. Um, and the fun thing is, is, is Highland, he, he loves to play on set. And so uh, we wanted to put toys in there. So not only yes. would it look visually great, but but if you wanted to interact with anything, um, it was important to have that that stuff in there for, for him. And uh, and then we have the, there's a, there, you'll see a mobile, a little mobile above his bed. And our art director, Karen, actually made that herself. So there's a lot of really personal touches that, that went into his, his room. And I, Aww. you know, hopefully... Hopefully we'll be able to 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 do more and, and see it sure. grow. He grows because it's fun. Oh. It, was, it was fun finding the bed too because such a oh. bed. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> was we, wanted, it? we wanted it to be warm and cozy and and just really reflect um, you know his personality, but also the influences of his mom and and his dad. Oh, that's so cute. I mean, I can't imagine what you um like the to me it would be enjoyable to shop and that's that time period so fun. Uh, antiques but uh, that's me I don't know <laughs> oh, so do I yeah thinking about that antique kind of um uh kind of conversation between Elizabeth and Rosemary's Valley Voice and even the Mountie office there's a lot of typewriters so uh Kristen Chin from Kansas City Missouri wanted to know where where do you find all of the typewriters? Mm, yeah, so this is uh, definitely props and set deck. Uh, a lot okay. of the, 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 the ones that you see, such as Elizabeth, that's a prop. Um, it's, a, it's a hero prop uh, and it has to work. And so there's a little bit more that goes in, into that. But oh, interesting. Um, we've, we're lucky to have uh, be on the doorstep of Fort Langley. Uh, just outside of Hope Valley of Jamestown. Um, and they have so many antique shops. It's 
really oh, you get lost you get lost in them it's it's so great and 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 of course we have a lot of uh our resources around the lower mainland and vancouver and and sure um and sometimes for those really hard pieces uh facebook marketplace has been really great, great oh wow that. great yeah um uh so that's great and sometimes you got to order it in sometimes it's like oh, okay where where can we get this and and um you'll you'll find it on online and then make a call and hope that sure. it gets time. Oh. but yeah um and a lot of the typewriters I actually haven't bought a typewriter in a really long time so a lot of them have been there since day one. Oh, really yeah wow interesting yeah. and but you said one. something about the phone too so there's a lot of phones there so I was yep. curious about your um the switchboard how how did you kind of acquire it how did you know Hmm. So yeah, that that was a lot of research done by our our set designer, or, um, yeah, our, our production designer at the time. Um, and then that's actually custom made. We had um, oh really? Yeah, the construction crew brilliantly built that, and we were able to source and piece together all of the the fun fun bits and bobs for it. Um, but yeah, it's a custom custom build. Wow. Well, that's interesting. I would I I thought that it was something that you just you're brilliant and i you found it on Facebook. I would, I would like to take credit for that, but <laughs> it was a brilliant construction crew. I love it. Oh, that's great. So there's another question, another hearty, uh, Nancy Huck from Arnold, Missouri asks, have any of the actors brought something from home to use on the set? So I, and I would think that would be like, like, someone that owns that set, like uh, Elizabeth or, you know, with Aaron or Chris with Locus or even with Nathan, with Kevin. Yeah. Um, have um, you had that experience? Honestly, I don't think that there's been any set piece that, that any okay. of the actors has brought in. I know there's been some props um, that have, have floated in from the cast, um, but I can't, I, I even, I asked my on set, I guess, has anybody brought anything in? And I don't think so. But with that being said, there's there is a lot of conversation. I remember when when I was decorating Lucas's office last season. Uh, you know, I went to him and I said, "What? Like, I I I think I know what to put in here. But what do you want?" And and from that, like, we got the bookshelf with all of the books because he, he you know he wanted that. And there's there is a lot of really personal touches that. Oh, um, and love you know, that. and same with um. Uh, Rose and Lee's bedroom and of course with with the row houses um even with with gallon petroleum um you know putting the cameras in you know that was a a, a nod to Martin's son and so Aww. the personal items like that do I love it. certainly certainly come in and then I will say though Peter Deloise I've told him if this directing thing doesn't pan out I would like him to join set deck <laughs> um, I would gladly hire him because the very first day of prep, when all of us were out on set, he pulls up, opens his trunk, and there's just a plethora of, of antiques that during our year off, he sourced and, 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 and found and then refurbished them. And he just handed them to me and I said, have fun. And I was like, wow, this is incredible. So, I mean, all of those are featured this season. So, uh, you know, that's, there's a lot of and fun. He's, he's posted some things in Twitter. I mean, yeah. it's just so fascinating. I love that. He's, yeah. he's all in. Oh, all yeah. in. He's, he's wow. a but I did, I said, please, like, I mean, maybe give up the directing thing and come work <laughs> with me. <laughs> You know, could use some handy, handyman skills like that. That's right. That's right. I love it. Yeah. He, and he's great. He's, yeah. I can't yeah. love, he imagine. Loves, he loves cars. So he brought in a lot of car stuff, which is cool. Oh, and uh, he was talking, well, someone was talking that we own the, the Wind Calls a Heart, uh, you know, what the production office owns some of the cars, right? Yeah. I, I couldn't quote me on which ones. I'm not sure which ones, but I know that, that, yeah, we definitely. Yeah. Well, we're hoping to talk to uh transportation to get oh yeah they're great so yeah, yeah that'll yeah, be all. interesting oh, yeah. so, so excited <laughs> so the yosts have some of the most unique sets in, uh especially the mercantile and the, the new soda fountain we talked about that so you know sidebar love the yosts love them so much <laughs> but thinking about the new set 
and especially because the soda a pharmacy combo, what elements were most important in that set? Um, I think the, the most important thing that we almost didn't have because of uh, shipping problems was the oh, actual really? soda fountain itself. Um, <laughs> it didn't exist in, in BC. We couldn't find it anywhere. Oh, <laughs> my just, word. And of course, we did our research and we wanted it to look, be exactly what they would have used. And then, you know, the curveball is, hey, can we get it to actually work? Um, and so it took some time and we finally found something, but it was so far and right. we're like, okay, we're shipping this in. Uh, it was supposed to land the day before uh, the, the, the set was shot. And we're like, oh no, like, so <laughs> like still has to, to rig it to work and sure. it's plumbed and everything. So they're on standby. And we were thinking about we almost made a foam one we were trying we were going to cast a foam one and just put it in there just just right <laughs> and then it arrived like a week early and we're like yes wow so that I think is not only the most important piece but was the most stressful piece oh um, I'm sure <laughs> yeah yeah um, and then yeah and then it was really important just to to find out what they would have been selling in a pharmacy at that time um you can't just put a bottle of, of Advil up there and, and sure. you know, that's not going to work. Um, and so yeah. we did a lot of research and, and found a lot of fun, um, fun things that actually look visually really cool. And um, so that they'd have lots to play with. And, and Gail was brilliant in, in how she designed and turned that space into something that, although recognizable as um, Dotties, but com but used completely differently. Right. Um, and, you know, and she did that by cutting out the the, the pockets in the in that wall so that we could have that pass through and, and make it um, that's the kind of space that they would have they would have exactly. Had and, and so yeah, I think aside from the, the the fountain itself, it was it was all of like the herbs and and things that that they would have used and and. And it was fun. We we had a lot of stuff for that set and then like filling the the display case of other things that I was like, okay, what would we find in uh you know Shoppers Drug Mart or London Drugs, you know? <laughs> well, right. We but let's take it back a few years. Um, right. So it's fun to source all those little things. And a lot of times you're not gonna see it, you know. It's, there's so much detail to a set like that, as well as a set like the mercantile, because there's so much stuff in there. Right, um, right. And and that's that's the fun thing is, is even not even knowing what you're looking for and then coming across something and then doing the research on it. And then it just explodes, uh, you know, all of these things explode. And, and you're like, Oh, I didn't know that. That's so cool. And it's, you're never going to need it for one calls, but now I've just had a history lesson and right. Right. <laughs> so much fun. And, and a set like the pharmacy and a set like the mercantile there, it's going to always, it's got to always be changing and, and growing. And, and so, you know, even like the row houses, people live in them. So they're going to yeah. change. On, on a minute by minute basis and so it's something that we like to do um with those sets is to redress them um after we've shot the first two episodes and we go into our our next block and we shoot the next two episodes we change it up we do new displays there's new you know new items or features wow. or, or so the do you stuff. have what's the tur turnover for that well we shoot each block is 13 days and in that we shoot uh two episodes uh-huh um, and nothing is ever in order. It's every scene and the episodes are shot completely out of order. Uh, and, and the way that's done is so that there's less movement, you know, so the shooting crew shoots, you know, for two days in the mercantile and it's from episode one, episode two, but it's over however many sure. yeah. days. And so that's ever changing. And then you've got to go back and, and continuity becomes a, a, a huge thing. And which is why, oh you know, we have a brilliant onset Chantal who who remembers exactly where something was placed on that day of the script at that time and like okay we got to put that back so it's 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 insane but it's so I was gonna fun. say I mean it's a living breathing you yeah. know situation oh my gosh exactly that's... and we do we do change the the I uh one of our lead dressers Matt this this season I said hey you know what I you're so creative I just want you to just make up these displays like you know let me see and and 
sometimes Peter would text me a picture of him in front of a new display and being thumbs up like, this is awesome. You know, being really creative and, and showcasing everything that, that is in there um, and trying not to keep it the same because then it gets boring. Not yeah. only for us, yeah. but we guys. Right. Oh my gosh. I mean, I can't even imagine the, like your, the continuity scenario, you know, you know night to another day. Yeah. Yeah weeks I don't know the season was a challenge yeah I mean yeah. once you hit the, the the last episode and you think back to all you're like oh wow that would have been <laughs> well I'm really excited to to see the the pharmacy just for if they pan <laughs> what else is there so yeah. oh yeah and it is it's all the, sets, it. the sets are 360 and and sometimes you know they're you know you look up and there's there's some chandeliers that you know sometimes would never see it on camera oh really oh yeah. well, well, in the uh, pharmacy area? Um, there, there is, oh, there's no, no, there's no lighting um, on the ceiling of the pharmacy. We just have the wall sconces, but there is some okay. cool ceiling details. It has a nice ceiling in there, but some, a place like the judges, that's a real ceiling with the, with the flush mount and, and yeah. the mercantile used to have two chandeliers in them. I didn't, I, they literally were never, ever seen. And I just stopped renting them because. Right. Well, that no makes sense. But yeah, makes yeah sense. no, there's some sets that, that are actually not, you know, false, false ceilings. If you looked up at what it's, it's there. Wow. Wow. That is so interesting. Okay. So one last question um, from Jen Carlson from Waves, North Carolina asks if there is a prominent item that has been present for the whole nine seasons? Oh, ah, let's see. I would say, um, oh yeah, and that's, that's funny because we were actually just talking about it this year. Um, there's a, there's a, a portrait, or so not a portrait, a piece of art in Abigail's that has remained on the wall for all nine seasons. Oh, um, the <laughs> Noah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that was. Um. Yeah. That's funny. We were actually in, and we talked with Aaron about that. Um. We kind of. Were like, oh, that's really cool because you know Abigail's has, has seen some changes and a lot of these sets have seen growth. Um. Uh -huh. But a piece uh -huh. like that has has stayed there and I think that's really special. Um. Same. Such so as you know the clock outside of Abigail's. It's something that you don't realize is. Uh, yeah. You know, it's in you know so many shots. It is also the piece that goes missing every year. Um, oh, really? No way. For some reason, there's only one place for it to go. Um, but for some reason, I always show up. I'm like, where is the clock? Why is it not hung up yet? <laughs> it's in a box and we find it every, but it's just, it's the curse of the clock. Um, oh my gosh. That's and, funny. And, and things like, like Elizabeth's couch and, and, and some of that furniture that, um, you know, you, you saw from, from the first season of, of her owning that. And, and we've, we've kept that and the saloon has seen a lot of changes, but those chairs and the tables and, and those are there. The, the tap is, does work, but nothing, you know, it's, if that was just permanent pop or something for us to always just, or, or water, I'll take water. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Oh my gosh. I mean, I could do another 30 minutes for, for me, but Thank you, Sarah, for having time for us to uh, have some questions. And um, this has really been a great, great, great time for, for us. And um, I really appreciate your time. <laughs>